today we are diving into one of the hottest topics in programming that is the AI revolution and what it means for Java in AI like Cursor, Windsurf, Klein and also the latest open source local LLM and trying them for coding in Java Spring ecosystem and I'll share my experience today. So I'm not saying that AI is incapable, AI is undeniably impressive but they're currently riding the high on what Garner calls the peak of inflated expectations. So here in the graph, as you can see, this is the place where the AI is currently at. We can see how the possible future of AI can be. This is the scenario, I believe. While this models excel at generating JavaScript and Python code, Java presents challenges that AI still struggles with. Let's explore why. The first one is Java's strong type there. We know that Java enforces strict type safety. So unlike JavaScript, where types are flexible, Java requires explicit types like string and also for the instance of the class like list or array lists, which makes it harder for AI to generate error-free code. The second one is enterprise complexity and framework challenge. Enterprise Java development isn't just about writing code, right? It is about navigating complex ecosystems and also understanding the domain, the business of the enterprise application and lots of things, which actually very hard for a LLM to take into the context every time. It is very costly operation actually. So if you type one plus one, in a local LLM with your RTX 1490, you will see that the GPU is speaking to around 60% just to calculate one plus one in a large language model. Okay, so that is the scenario. Even it can go up to 90% for just calculating one plus one for, but this kind of uh, token, if it takes that much of resource for a complex enterprise application, which uses other complex framework like Spring, the context is actually very high. Another important thing is Java's verbosity. Java requires careful structuring of access modifier like getter setter and public private, etc. And LLM often meets those subtle requirement to create consistent pattern ac across the large code base. Okay. And other thing is the compilation thing about Java. So Java is static type language. So you have to make it error free before running. Unlike JavaScript, which runs dynamically, Java also requires compilation, meaning words in AI generated code get caught early. That is why the role of an experienced developer is still critical. So now let's dive into the IDE that are AI based like Cursor AI and Windsurf AI IDE. Those IDE actually agnostic of platform. That means they can run Java code, Spring application, JavaScript, Node application, etc. So you can still run a enterprise Java application in Cursor or Windsurf or any VS code fork AI based IDE. But should we use that instead of IntelliJ? I don't think so. Because IntelliJ understand the entire code base, the dependency injection in Spring, and if any import is correct or wrong, and many more. So that perform static analysis, which is beyond what LLM can do. And IntelliJ have Java specific optimizations, means unlike LLM, IntelliJ is built specially for Java. Uh, one interesting thing is, IntelliJ have a VIN debugging system for Java application that starts a separate debugging server and catches the request. And we can uh, step forward, step into different execution part. And that supports with specific framework like Java Enterprise, Spring, or any new Java framework. Those integrated environment are not available in AI based tools like Windsurf or Cursor. And last thing is performance suggestion, which is especially for Java and Spring or any Java based framework and profiling tools like you can build, Maven is integrated, you can pass any argument when your application start, you can configure how the JVM should allocate memory for a specific application, etc. So those are not available in any of the AI based ID yet. So what does it mean for Java developer? So I'm, I think 
I'm not saying that AI will not impact job developers because AI is a thing which we cannot totally ignore. It has some potential and it will absolutely impact Java development. But rather than replacement, we are heading into augmentation. So we can utilize the IntelliJ's deep Java understanding with AI's creating code generation capabilities like completing a function. And this hybrid approach gives the best of both worlds. So I hope you got the idea what I was trying to explain in this tutorial that if you are Java developer, IntelliJ is still the best ID. The future is hybrid. You can use uh, you can use AI based ID along with IntelliJ as a pair programming agent which have some knowledge of coding and which doesn't know that much business. You can give small task to that agent and it will complete that part. So like a function for a specific task, you don't need to implement that. You can pass that to the agent like windsurf or cursor and you can then review the code. So this is the approach I have. I think I can follow for my personal projects like using IntelliJ for mainly coding and also opening the same project on Windsurf and when I can leverage Windsurf, I can instruct it to do so, do something. And that is how I can leverage both IntelliJ's feature, also what AI is offering now. So that's all. If you, uh, if you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comment. That was my belief and I think it doesn't matter what you whether you agree or disagree with me but i'm interested what others thinks about this and if you have learned something out of out of this video please consider subscribing and hitting the like button that means a lot for my 